Hey Survivor fans, my name is Sam and for this week's video I'm going to be ranking every single Survivor season 1 out of 10. So this is going to be the first part of a 4 part series. I'm going to do season 1 through season 10. So let's start off with season 1, Borneo. So the winner of that season was Richard Hatch. Uh, the runner up was Kelly Wigglesworth. And my favorite players from that season were Kelly Wigglesworth and Rudy. Um, I liked Kelly Wigglesworth because of how many immunity wins she had, and I liked Rudy because I thought he was funny. Overall, I'm gonna give this season a 7 out of 10. Um, some of the biggest moments in that season was Sue's uh, speech, jury speech, and we got the first winner. So, going on to season two, the Australian Outback. Um, the winner of that season was Tina. Runner up was Colby Donaldson. And my favorite players were Colby and probably Tina, which is surprising the runner and the runner up. Um, I liked Colby because also how many immunity wins he had. He had five. And I like Tina because I think she played a hard game and she was strategical. So I'm going to give this season a 8 out of 10 because of all the different characters that were in that season. Like Jerry and Amber and um, those are just a few. So going on to season 3, Africa. Winner of that season is Ethan. The runner up was Kim. So, my favorite two players of that season were Ethan and Lex. I liked Ethan because he played a very truthful game, um, which we wouldn't see in later seasons. And Lex because he was very much in control most of the game so that is why and i'm gonna rank that season a eight out of ten as well because of i like the location um africa was a great location and i like the winner so eight out of ten so season four marquesas um, the winner of that was Vesepia, and the runner-up was, I don't know, I forgot. She said holy heck a lot, so, I know that. So my favorite players from that season were Boston Rob, and probably Sean. Yeah. I liked Boston Rob because... He ran the game most of the time. And I like Sean because he was funny. Um, overall, I'll give that season a 7 out of 10. Because most of the players who would really play a hard game um, were voted out pretty early. And I thought the winner was okay, but not the best winner. So, on to season 5. Thailand. Um, the winner of that season was Brian. So my favorite people from that season were Brian and Chi Ann, but I've only watched half of that season, so I don't know too much about it, but I know, like, enough about it. Like, they started out picking tribes, so, um, and... Brian was a used car salesman, so I don't know how he got too far. And he told everybody he was a used car salesman, so. And I'm going to rate that season, or what I've watched of that season, uh, probably a six, six and a half. So, on to the next one. Survivor season six, the Amazon. They had the men versus women twist, 
the winner of that season was Jenna. And my favorite two people were Jenna and Rob Sesternino. Um, he played a really good game. He was super close to winning it all. Made it to the top three. Um, I felt like Jenna also played a good game. I felt like she was kind of overthrown by how much uh, Rob did in his that season. But I feel like she was a good winner. So, Season 7, Pearl Islands. The winner of that season was Sandra. And my favorite... Or, I'm sorry. I would rate the... I would rate Season 6, the Amazon, a... 7, 7.5 out of 10. So, back to Pearl Islands. Um, the winner of that was Sandra, and my favorite two people were Rupert and John, uh, Johnny Fairplay. Uh, Johnny Fairplay was super famous for his dead grandma thing he pulled where he told everybody his grandma died. And Rupert, he was a big provider, and I would rate this season a... 8 out of 10 because of the twist that they had. They have the outcast twist. I liked that. People, Many people don't like that, but I, I liked it. So, let's go to season 8. All Stars. Um, All Stars, I just watched. Um, my, the winner of that was Amber. And my favorite two players on that season were, um, I'd probably say Boston Rob and Sheehan. Um, Sheehan was on the bottom a lot, most of that game. And Rob ran the season. Um, it was a 4-3 to three vote, final vote. Amber won with four votes. And I'd rate that season a 9 out of 10 because it was the first time they ever had three tribes and the first time they brought people back. So now we have Survivor Season 9, Vanuatu, won Chris. by... So Chris had to do a lot of apologizing at Final Tribal Council to all the women um, the women really ran that season. Um, they started off just like the Amazon with men versus women. And my favorite two players from that season were Amy and probably Eliza. Amy was like the Boston Rob of Vanuatu. Um, she was running the show most of the time and I felt like Eliza was she had most of the screen time um, in the beginning half of that season so the, that's why those are my favorite two players so now we have Survivor Season 10 Palau and I would rank or I would rank Survivor Season uh, Season 9 Vanuatu a 8 out of 10, because I like the characters that were in that season. Okay, back to Palau. Um, so, the winner of Palau was Tom. He was a very likable winner. Um, he stayed on the buoy for 12 hours to win the final immunity challenge. So, he is definitely one of my favorite players. Um... My other favorite player from that season was Stephanie. She survived every single tribal council, or every single tribe tribal council. So she beat, she had to beat out her whole entire tribe until she was the only one left and then they had to merge. Um, she was a pretty early merge boot, but I still liked the game that she played. 
So those are my top 10, or seasons 1 through 10 ranked 1 out of 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be coming out with part 3, or part 2, 3, and 4. And you can like this video if you liked it, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.